Hello and welcome to another Tech and Trains channel video and this video will be talking about how to scratch build OO gauge fencing like they do with <coughs> fence panels in real life made from items that you will definitely have so all you need is a bit of cardboard it's got to be... it doesn't have to be as thin as cardboard but it's, don't use the thickest cardboard ever I've used medium thickness cardboard and you need some scissors right so first I just need to cut what fence is, what I'm going to use as a fence which bit the cardboard out so I'm just going to cut this bit out for more realism you can draw a line down the cardboard and cut it with a ruler but I'm not going to do that today right so now you've got your bit of cardboard which is going to function as a fence I mean if you really want to you could just have the cardboard like that and that could be your fence but that doesn't look very realistic so how you do the fence you basically just want to give it the comb impression so you want to go like that so you want to cut down like that then that then that and that and so on so it's all done now depending on how you've done it depending on your scissors it may be slightly bent so you may need to just curve it round slightly to make sure you've got a straight fence which you're then going to maybe bend if you're not put, putting it on a straight bit right so now we're at the gluing stage so you have your fence panel I recommend not doing them too long otherwise it looks a bit clumsy and they can be hard to bend and all that stuff so now we're going to gluing section the so one you glue unfortunately because these are really tall and they're not very wide because you're using thin cardboard you need to rest them on something when gluing so for this one I'm going to rest it on the catenary mast it's going to go and get some glue and apply some glue along the bottom of it now put the glue down once it's screw the lid on And then what you want to do is you want to get this rest it on there make sure it's horizontal now you're done okay, so here we have the finished cardboard product this is what it's going to look like for a long time unless you paint it you just will need to make sure everything's just as you want it and it's not bent it's not got bent or curved more than you'd like it normally and then that's your fence from, from some angles it might not look realistic but what I recommend you for painting you probably if you're going to do it really accurately which I haven't you'd want to um, you'd want to cut further down and then have the and then you want to drill into the you want to drill a line into the border and fit this down into the line so that you can't see the bottom because the bottom isn't very realistic the top is the realistic bit the bottom isn't but you wouldn't want to stick every single fence panel one by one on here because it would take such a long time and if you can be patient enough they'd all fall over like dominoes further detailing you could do some a small amount of green for some ivy and you well, I mean probably just paint it brown give it a bit of a smudgy effect don't paint it on really thickly so that you get a bit of a watery effect and all that stuff so now I've done a bit more fencing down all the way from here you've probably just off camera well I've done a lot more you can see on the camera I just moved to shift up a bit 
It seems to be the more you do of the fencing, the more fencing you do, the more realistic it looks. So, so when doing fencing, I recommend you mass build it instead of just building one bit on one day, because otherwise you go, that doesn't look very realistic, and you'll stop. Whereas in actual fact, it would look realistic if there was more realistic stuff around it. Thank you for watching this second trade channel video, and see you on the next video. There is also a video of Scratch building these catenary masts, if you wish to watch that video. But thank you for watching for now.